Hey guys, so I just wanted to put the S9 up against the A5 2017. Some people did request this, uh, which was a fantastic phone back in 2017. Fully waterproof and uh, very affordable price. But how does it compare with the latest S9? We're going to start them up. I don't think we've had an A5 this year, which is, you know, really disappointing. I mean, the A8 is a good phone, but it's not hitting the like price to performance ratio that the A5 did. Uh, with its full waterproofing, really nice display and build quality, uh, decent camera, not the best, but uh, you know, it's just an all-around amazing little phone here. I think you can get them for about 200 euro as well now, so they're very uh, affordable. Just bump the brightness up here. You can see the, the brightness gets about as comparable as the uh, S9. And it does have pretty much the latest software on it. It did take quite a while for it to be updated, but uh, they did get it on eventually. As you can see, uh, we are coming with Samsung Experience 8. Uh, so that uh, is quite nice. Let's have a look how they do compare. Then we're going to open up a few games and see the performance between them. I think it was coming with X07 you know, series lower end chipset with 3 gigs of RAM. So it should uh, be still okay in terms of performance. Although I've always thought that I think 4 gigs of RAM should be the minimum. For your Samsung device and you can see I think the S9 is proving to be a little bit snappier here on these basic ones you can see there's a little bit of delay on the A5 um, what else do we have we do have the calendar yeah so you can see, definitely see there's a uh, quite a big difference there the S9 with the inbuilt apps, try the third party ones. A5 also came with a front facing flash, did it? No, it didn't. I'm making stuff up. I think that was another phone actually. Uh, I think that was a J series that came with that. So what is this? Is this an advert? I don't know actually. It looks like it's an advert. But it looked like it was the game as well. So it made the A5 win there. Let's try another one. Oh, didn't respond then. Need to be very scientific. Let's try that again. So again, S9, very quick. But I've got to say, you know, as I said before, the display quality is very comparable here on both of them. They did a marvelous job with the A series with the displays in 2017, uh, as well as 2018. But that's, I think, the when you start using the A5 or A series, you do notice the uh, difference in terms of performance when you really start like using it. The uh, multitasking you can see straight away reloading with the uh, 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, luckily, they did bump up the RAM in this year's model. But you can definitely see here there's some like delay now and again with some of these apps. But it does mighty well, you know, considering the price to performance ratio. It's not, you know, overpriced, underperform like a lot of phones. You can see it's doing the job. It looks like it's improved actually since Marshmallow. It used to reload all the time. Uh, but you can see very decent performance here from A5 2017. Uh, let's just check out the uh, GPS and then round the video off. And uh, I think it's over here. 
wouldn't it be good if the new one did win? Sorry, the old one. <laughs> so it looks like both have the same in use. The accuracy seems to have got better on the S9, a little bit faster here. But again, A5 doing a very respectable job here with uh, the GPS lock. And I'm still trying to figure this app out. I've been doing it for three years, but we'll get there eventually. I think the S9 won, ultimately. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, if you get some nice deals with the A5, I definitely still recommend it. You know, particularly, as I said, uh, fully IP68, uh, fingerprint scanner on the front as well, which is very usable. Uh, not the best, but again, you know, usable. And it also has a camera on the back, which is decent at best. But I wish it would put the old S series camera in the A series. It would make more sense to me. Uh, but uh, still very nice uh, phone for the budget mid-range. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here. Hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.